Hi, I'm uh, Rezvan. I'm a BI developer slash data analyst at uh, Levi9 here in Yash. Okay. So what does your job consist of? My job, my job consists of working with data and working with charts and trying to drive that value from the data and ultimately communication, I would say, making sure people understand uh, what we're doing with those reports. What kind of people that have what kind of hobbies or interests who should mm -hmm. want to become data analysts? Who is this job for, mm -hmm. in your opinion? So maybe uh, I can take two steps back and sort of discuss about what is, I think, now the most common sort of structure for data teams. From my experience and also from, from a lot of our companies you can see now uh, in, in the market, the people in uh, the data teams are divided in three. So you have the data analysts, you have the data engineers, and then you have the data scientists. And uh, in my mind, all of these uh, teams have different backgrounds and sort of different um, personality traits that fit better and all that stuff. So I would say the data engineers are the most developers from, from us, uh, available in our department and I think across the board. So CI, CD stuff, pipelines, uh, the testing, all the stuff, repositories and everything you usually use in development. All the people that get the data do what we call uh, ETL, extract, transform, load, or ELT now, extract, load, transform, according to technology you use, uh, making sure that data comes day by day and is accurate, making different checks. Security aspect of it is very, very important as well. Retention, you also have to handle your data, GDPR, and now the AI Act have a lot of regular regulations, especially in the EU you know, any possible cyber threats, that's something you also have to keep uh, keep in mind. And I would see engineers more with a uh, IT background, uh, definitely code, you need to, to, to do that a lot. A lot of patience and a lot of uh, willingness to stay a longer time with the data than maybe you would initially imagine. That that would be my profile for, uh, for data engineers. For data scientists, I'm gonna leave analysts at the end, I think it's more the statistics, math territory. There's, uh, if you really want to understand how a machine model works, or even AI for that matter, you got to know math, and you know, like deep math. Uh, if you want to get to the point of actually understanding what makes a model perform good or bad, a lot of the work that's done with machine learning models is a bit black boxed, as in you get a prediction, let's say, out of it, but you don't know exactly how the model got to that, uh, to that point. So that's more like, like math, again, uh, analytical person and uh, being able to, to, to stay with himself and with the data for a long time. And then there's the data analysts, what I would say, again, very, you have to be an analytical person because you're gonna look at numbers and, and graphs all day, but uh, what is extra, I think, and quite, quite, uh, important is the ability to communicate. So sometimes, or a lot of the times, my position is between the business and our IT team, where we have to translate uh, business needs and um, fix that, make a lot of sense to the business to translate that to our data engineers and our data scientists that are interested more in you know, coding stuff and the uh, structure of the data and type of data and things like that. And you have to be able to have patience with people, ask a lot of questions, go back and again uh, a couple of times. Uh, you're not going to find the answers from the get-go. And I think uh, a background in uh, economics is going to help you a bit more. Uh, the, the kinds of things you, we, we talked about and you showed me, like decluttering and things like mm -hmm. that, it's even visual communication, so even yeah. a bit artistic, so to say, to some, in, in some way, like the ability to understand visual design and, and how mm -hmm. the human mind goes for visual elements and color theory and all yeah, those kind yeah, of things yeah, yeah. also become part of it. So it's, an, it, it's a mixture of quite yeah. different fields in a way. Yeah, so I've been uh, struggling with this topic a bit myself as well, and I kind of changed my mon mind on it. There is a certain degree of subjectivity as a, a dashboard designer or a data analyst because there is Art is a bit too much, let's say, but there is some sort of creative work you have to put into that to make across, to, to, to put your, what you feel is the truth, to put it out there and to be uh, understood, like making as much as an effort as possible that people intu intuitively understand from your dashboard what you wanted them to understand. So that's communication, right? Yeah. What I have in my mind to be communicated to you and you understand the same thing that I'm thinking. Yeah.